Hi there. Probably you've clicked on this video because of this frustrating feeling when you realize the 3 minutes animation you'll need to render during about forever. Or probably there was another reason. At least this was what motivated me to learn this topic, and now I'm ready to share with you my experience about how to speed up your renders in times. In my case it was almost 17 times faster. So let's dive into it. I have this artwork that I created few months ago, and I'm going to show all tips on this artwork, so we'll see exact results, instead of some abstract thoughts. Row render without improvements took me 31 minutes and 30 seconds, which is not too much, but in my opinion still pretty long time for one frame. The first thing that I've done here is I baked this procedural stone material into 2K atlases with diffuse and height maps. To get the biggest profit of this technique, firstly bake your material into single atlases where you have a bunch of similar objects instead of having separate textures. Secondly, put black and white textures into different channels of one image, like RSM maps, roughness, specular and metallic maps that are putted into red, green, and blue channels of an image. And third things third, make sure that high priority objects like ones from the foreground have more UV space. After this step, render time was 29 minutes and 7 seconds. And you may say, hey, this is not a big difference. And yet, in this case I expected much more, especially considering that fact that baking textures is a bit time consuming process. But, but, what will you say about this incredible 150% speed boost? And in addition, with baked textures I got rid of these horrible freezes in material preview mode. So this is kind of situational method that works better if you have a lot of complex materials close to the camera. But it has other advantages as well. And if you are not familiar with texture baking, I'll leave some useful links in the description. Yeah, most of you most likely know about it, but I must mention this for people that are just getting familiar with Blender. Use your GPU for rendering. It is noticeably more powerful than CPU, so why not to use this opportunity? You can also use both of them and achieve additional profit. Go to Edit, Preferences, System, Cycles Render Device. Select CUDA and enable devices that you want to use. Don't forget to save changes. After that go to Rendering tab and change device to GPU Compute. After that I've got 22 minutes and 20 seconds with GPU, and 15 minutes 28 seconds with both devices. Be careful with the next tip cause you'll lose quality if you go too far with it. The point is to reduce calculations like samples and light bounces. The most powerful setting here is amount of samples. This is how many times render engine will calculate each tile. So if you make this amount twice smaller, you'll have twice faster render. And this works for any percentage. I may shock a lot of people now, but yeah, I've set samples amount to only 32 and it worked just fine with denoise added in the compositor. But consider that fact that with such amount you may lose some small details. Or you may not, it depends on your scene. And again but. There's absolutely no any logical reason to set samples amount higher than 1000. You will not notice any difference. To my experience it's best to use something between 128 and 512 samples for rendering an image, something like 32 samples for animation, and 8 to 16 samples for test renders. With shown changes I've got render after only 3 minutes and 56 seconds, which is almost 4 times faster just for changing couple numbers in the project. If you're a perfectionist and want to have each single pixel to be as detailed as possible, then try to show two renders to any another person and ask if he or she sees any difference. And after that ask yourself, do all these tiny details really worth all that rendering time? Especially in animation where you can't just sit and explore each corner of a frame. Here's same situation as for using GPU. People that keep hand on pulse know that Blender 3.0 was finally released few days ago. And with it we have Cycles X that made a huge step forward in rendering speed. But a lot of people may not know this. So if you haven't switched to the new version of Blender for some reason, so what are you waiting for? It's not alpha or beta, it's released and stable now. You can simply install new version and open your scene in it, and that's all you need to do. In case of this artwork the result was almost 2 times faster, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. But for you this change can be even bigger. 
For example, I tested another artwork and with Cycles X it rendered more than 4 times faster. An awesome solution if you don't have a powerful computer is cloud rendering. I used a method with Google Colab, but there are a lot of different solutions either free or payable. I'll leave useful links in the description. The final result including all mentioned tips applied in cloud rendering gave me the image in 1 minute and 52 seconds, which is 16.875 times faster than non-optimized render. I'm not a master and don't know everything, so I'll be thankful if you share your experience in comments below. Also please leave a like if this video was useful and feel free to ask question in comments, I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Good luck with your art.